carbon dioxide. No. Let's just put it anywhere. So here is the electrolyzer resting in. And then there's another tar, and then there's a pump. So you should start with five insulated tiles. Let's do that. We have five insulated tiles. And of course, we need the electrolyzer itself. Good. So um, what we also need is a tile here and a tile there. So to make it pretty, we could do this. Um, yeah. This is very important that there is nothing there yet. Um, this is going to be a vacuum. We're going to signify this by building normal tiles here. We're just going to build these tiles up. And build the electrolyzer, of course. And then we are going to uh, discharge some water. Uh, let's do a bottle emptier. Let's do a bottle emptier. Because I never use that. For good reason. It's clumsy. I use the mud normally, but now I use this. Just to showcase. Now, of course, we have a problem that's full of carbon dioxide here, which is nice. Because uh, there we can see that it does not matter. It does not matter. Because if there's a liquid here, the carbon dioxide will drop down there. Good, let's put some uh, polluted water in there. Uh, because we don't have anything else right now. Um, and this is already enough. So let's stop that. And now we're going to do a little bit of water on top liquid water and then this should already be done this should already be very effective I wonder if somebody comes in and does this no pending errands so let's enable the auto bottle then so when the water drops down here it's gonna push out the gases and that's exactly what we want. Then we can close this up and let the carbon dioxide drop down. And that's already a good electrolyzer setup. If all the gases, if all the carbon dioxide drop down there. Oops, enough. Stop it. Uh, if the carbon dioxide drops down there. Uh, then only oxygen will be produced. Um, but yeah, don't take my word for it. I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to deconstruct this guy here. And then we're going to close this up um, like so. Uh, priority is hopefully high. Because I want this done. Another one there. And the thing here is, uh, there can be two tiles, but I don't know how long there can be two tiles. So to start this up, two tiles of oxygen on top of the electrolyzer is fine. Also, of course, we need to hook it up. Power. And what I like to do is get an automation button. And of course, we need some water. Let's get some water from down here. So that's how we go. And uh, this is disabled by the automation grid. And how is the water going? The water is coming. So let's close this up as our current project. Now there's a tile here and there's a tile here and that already works very well for any carbon dioxide. If you look the materials overlay, if there was carbon dioxide here, it would drop down there. 
and bugger off. It's like all the other carbon dioxide we released. If you look at the thing, it's dropping down like crazy and it's gonna it's gonna end up down here and it's gonna be a lot and then my pump is going to pump it into carbon dioxide storage. And it's working. Boop. 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 Except it broke. Good. <laughs> so, of course, what we forgot to do is uh, make this a air filter. I thought it would work like that and sort itself out, but it does not. Which is in did I did I do the door here? I think I did the door here actually. To be able to service this. Good. So let's make a service entrance there. Bench hazard is going and coming and doing it. Right, so there's a vacuum there because here is water. Doesn't look like it, but there's water here. So if you turn this on now, it's going to sort itself out perfectly. This hydrogen is just hydrogen. So this is already working. But what people do, and what I agree you should do, is put a tile here. Because there's no telling what too much pressure will do to this uh, water towel. It might go here and then the hydrogen might pressure itself out. So to be safe, put in an insulated tile or any towel here. The point is the gases sort each other out perfectly. And this is going if the pipe wasn't empty. This was going. So we can already deconstruct this sorry building here. And let's see what's happening. 20 seconds of water is coming here. It's going into the research computer, but this is a mod. And now without any mods, we built this. <laughs> we have uh, a 64 mods also installed and running. But this works without mods. You can do this. It's very easy. And what else? Yeah. Now it's time for the second part. Um, uh, let's try and harvest this hydrogen here. How, would, how do we do that? First of all, we are going to build a perfect vacuum and a liquid lock. That's what we need here. Also, make sure if you run this, have a mechanized elk or a tile or anything there. Because if carbon dioxide drops here, it can drop there. And then if it goes to the left, it will break everything. Um, so if it's running, this needs to be closed up. We need a liquid lock. Where would be a good place for a liquid lock? Uh, making a liquid lock, that's only one tile. So this is a one tile liquid lock. And uh, the best thing to remember doing is two parallel columns like for example let's paint something somewhere in um but we're not we're not in sandbox and we're not in debug we're painting in with uh queuing up stuff so this for example is a good way to picture and imagine how the one tile liquid lock works just have just have two tiles and um, a little bit one tile to each other so there is the liquid log going to be on top of this and this is perfect for the duplicant to to walk through um so let's see if we can get something like that here mm -hmm. if we put a liquid log there i think that would work just as well uh, mm. The only problem is a hydrogen generator is maybe too big. Let's look at the power and the hydrogen generator. No, this works perfectly fine. Let's do that. Liquid log is going to be here. Uh, the only thing is we have an extra space. Well, an extra space never hurt anybody. 
So here's the column now, the first one, the upper one, and the lower column is here. So of course you can just uh, just do this and it's working. But this is easier to remember, having two columns. So easy to remember. If you have two columns, then the liquid log is between there. This is just a, just a memory trick because, uh, of course, this would work just fine. Just two tiles, uh, just two tiles askew or displaced from each other on tile. Uh, so let's do this then. We just need a smudge of water and I'm using the Holland point now You saw how to do it with, uh, with a bottle emptier. Just don't care about it. Just put it in but here um, I'm doing a, a mod just to showcase This is a mod with a Holland point. It's called Holland point. I think it's called get things from here to there I don't know what it's called but it's creating a hauling point and if you do 0 0.1 kg liquid water because water is liquid then we enable the auto spill and enable the auto drop and it's gonna spill here over there which is no big deal but it also uh, is going to form a liquid so let's see if somebody goes and stores this no pending errors let's enable the auto bottle and now somebody is gonna come and get it it works just like a bottle emptier, only more convenient. We need a power transformer. And I like to put it here, and the battery there. But uh, you can do whatever which way. This is closer to everything. And the battery is gonna say in the automation, if we are low, start up this also uh, of course in the ventilation this needs gas um, this is this thing is going to power the pump and the electrolyzer and the door and maybe maybe a <laughs> deodorizer here so if you have problem with polluted stuff, you put a deodorizer here and then uh, this can power all, but we don't have that trouble right now. So let's get going like this. And um, let's turn this off for a second and open the door. So we can service this area. And that's the nice thing about this. Good, there's a liquid lot there. Let's deconstruct everything in here. But anyway, this works fine. So where's my Atmos sensor? Here. Let's build it right there and automate the pump. First, we're gonna deconstruct this. All right. These guys, <laughs> these guys are in trouble because now this is all hydrogen, but that's by design. Uh, let's get the gas pump, 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 pump. Let's get the pump. Let's get the gas pump going here, and uh, it should be connected up with everything. Since we build everything, we can uh, close up the service door. And yeah, that's the spawn. That's it. Uh, let's see it in action very soon. Oh, uh, not to forget. This is something like uh, if it's very low, like 20. It goes up to very high, like 90. And also, what you can do as a bonus, but first let's let it run. Let's let it run. Uh, we run... Well, Atmos sensor, if above 1000G, let's go, it's going. 
and it's running so let's disconnect this with the pliers you can just go here and deconstruct if you don't have the pliers installed but if you don't have the pliers mod installed that's on you to be honest because <laughs> everybody has the pliers installed because they're just great so now this thing stopped save up energy and the spawn is here and working now all the uh, excess energy we are going to harvest we're we going to harvest as well we can use a uh, power shut off here and a knot gate there and this way, if we have enough energy, then this power shutoff will let the power through. And isn't that great? So yeah, that's it. Uh, what I do here is uh, just put on power transformers. And they transform this power here to whatever we need. And that's fine then. That's what you can do. And then power your base. Like, uh, let's just, just showcase it. Why not? This is not a serious playthrough on highest difficulty on beta without care package. <laughs> Get a cord running here. And do this. So now this is a pure gem. And all the power we're getting is from this spawn. And if the power is too low, then the spawn says, no, we're not going to let anything through because... A spawn always comes first. So that is what this system here is about. Good. So uh, do we have power in our base? We do. We have a thousand watts just like before. Only now the spawn is providing it. And that is pretty cool. So that's it. That is the spawn. And it's working great. Don't get fooled by the gym. It's not connected at all um, all the base power is provided now by this and as the battery gets drained this thing is going to say no battery is too low no more power for the base so that's it no more kitchen no more this incubator so what we're going to do next is uh, build a battery and everything but that's it for the spawn so if you like the spawn build it if not don't <laughs> That's all I gotta say to the spawn and uh, have a good day and a good night.